and for the latest prime minister narendra modi's visit to australia let's quickly cut across to the alphonse auditorium alphonse arena in sydney and listen in true spirit of devotion give them another big round of applause friends <laughs> ladies and gentlemen we have a lot more breathtaking performances coming your way the great rabindranath tagore said oneness amongst men the advancement of unity in diversity is the core religion of india and so friends Our journey now moves to the ancient classical dance of Kathak which originated in northern India. Katha means story and Kathak means storyteller. Through their amazing poses and graceful dances the dancers captured the stories from our wonderful scriptures. And the tradition of the Kathak was hereditary which passed from one generation to the next. Tonight we have one of Australia's most well-known dance companies performing the beautiful rendition of the Kathak dance. Ladies and gentlemen, I must also let you know that each of the dancers on stage are wearing up to 200 gungroos. And through their sparkling footwork and breathtaking spins they will captivate each and every one of you and celebrate our togetherness. So friends please give them a big round of applause to Ruchi Sanghi and group
Kathak at the Alphonse Arena in Sydney. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has arrived at the arena and would shortly be entering this arena. Now, this is an event which the organizers claim will surpass what we saw at the Madison Square Garden in New York. With me in the studio, Javed Ansari, our executive editor. Also with me, image guru Dilip Cherian. Dilip. Prime Minister and for Prime Minister Narendra Modi, uh, you know, his, his fans and his followers run a special train uh, from Melbourne to Sydney. Uh, the Prime Minister, the Premier of Queensland says you have a lot of fans in Brisbane. Now it's over to Sydney. So what's the Prime Minister attempting to achieve through the diaspora here? I think he's essentially making sure that the, uh, the G20 summit is exceeded in some senses, especially for Indian audiences. Because this is now, in a sense, going to play out all evening today and tomorrow. So he is making sure that even while he is away, he is occupying center stage. Something he is both used to, competent in and capable of at all times. So this is a prime minister who knows how global messaging is one thing, business messaging is a separate thing and reaching out to mass audiences, whether it's the diaspora or whether it's his home audience, is something that he needs to do consistently. The bottom line is that this is a Prime Minister who understands the power and the essentiality of communications in terms of managing a country as big and diverse as this. And this is exactly what the Australian media in fact is commenting even at this stage, Javed, when they say that this may be the largest gathering for a politician in Australia, uh, about 16,000 people attending this inside the Alphonse, uh, Alphonse and another 5,000 outside, but it's the millions back home in India who would be glued to television. This becomes the big story, Javed. Well, it certainly does. Because the media is totally focused, even Mr. Mr. Narendra Modi has not even appeared on stage and we are showing Kathak. I'm not so sure how many Kathak performances in this country are shown, but for the fact that it, it's connected to Narendra Modi. So therefore, Mr. Narendra Modi is not just using this, leveraging the Indian diaspora to send a message to governments uh, across the world, but also, like my, my friend here was saying, that he's, he's using it to ensure that the spotlight remains firmly on him. A lot of questions were asked that, you know, the campaign is uh, elections to Jharkhand and Jammu Kashmir are, are being held. People are going to begin campaigning. Mr. Narendra Modi will be out of action. He's certainly not out of action. Even when he's thousands of miles away, all the cameras are focused only on Narendra Modi. And, and every medium the Prime Minister is exploiting. And this is the first picture that's come of the Prime Minister as he reaches the Alphonse Arena in Sydney. There is a rush for selfies with the Prime Minister and the Prime Minister is actually obliging people wanting to take selfies with him, people wanting to get pictures with the Prime Minister, of the Prime Minister and he does manage to oblige most of them. Now the organizers here have told headlines today is Rahul Kawal who is reporting from Ground Zero that they hope to do and promise to outdo the Madison Square Garden in New York. And this is a still picture just of a short while back when the Prime Minister arrived. In fact, the Prime Minister is keeping his Twitter followers in, in picture about whatever is happening, almost tweeting minute to minute about details of what is happening in Australia. When he reached Sydney, he was welcomed by a traditional Australian dance. And these are Indian songs and dance sequence at... Let's listen in.
we leave you with these pictures back in a moment stay with us vande mataram vande mataram vande mataram vande